so let's... Overgy! Overgy! Oh, sh Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. I just broke the aircraft. <laughs> Hydraulics failure. Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. Today I'm back in DCS. And you may notice that this is not the Su-25T that I am sitting inside of right now. And I have something goofy on my head. <laughs> my track IR came in. I'm getting a track IR pro reflector that should fit on my headset a little bit better. This is designed for a cap that the track IR actually came with um, that you could put it on. But you can also stick it on your headset, which is what I've done. And now I can look around my aircraft by looking around in real life. And today I'm taking the F-15C out for a, a first flight. Um, I've made a lot of progress with the Su-25T and I feel like I'm good with where that aircraft is at right now. Um, and I want to try and start moving into some other aircraft. So the first one I'll try out here is the F-15C, which is an air-to-air -air fighter. This is not the F-15 Strike Eagle, the F-15E. There's actually a module for that that'll be releasing soon. Although I probably won't be getting that anytime soon because um, I still have plenty of aircraft to learn. But yeah, so here is look at that shadow there. Uh, here is the F-15C, and we'll jump out to an outside view real quick to just show you the girl here. I went ahead and put my tail number on there, 41, but we are in the F-15. We've got some air-to-air -air missiles loaded up, but really uh, what I want to do here is essentially just a first flight. I think the basic... You know, the simplified kind of controls ought to still work here. So if I hit Shift L, it ought to turn on my electronics here. All right. I'm not, I've done a little bit of reading about the F 15's instrumentation and stuff, um, but I'm by no means an expert. This here should be the RWR. Uh, this here, although it's called the TWOS, Tactical Electronic Warning System or something like that. Uh, this is the front facing radar. You notice how, like, when I lean in, I can zoom in and get closer? Isn't that cool? That's that's really nice. I, I used this a little bit earlier uh, in the Su-25T, and being able to zoom in and look at the Cheval really closely when I'm trying to locate targets was nice. Uh, but And then this is our multifunction display that is currently showing our fuel and weapons and stuff. So let's go ahead and shift home to fire up both the engines. Oof. These engines are going to be significantly more powerful than the Su-25T, so I'm excited to see how that's going to go. Let's see, what do we got here? Fuel flow, engine temps, engine RPM, so there's the right engine spooling up. Uh, left engine is not spooling up just yet. I'm wondering if the aircraft has a mode that's going to spin those up sequentially. I'm guessing so. There's our right engine, spooled up. Let's see, is the left engine going to start up here? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's firing up the other one. So let's see, we've got uh, altimeter there. Uh, that's our rate of change, angle of attack, airspeed, and Mach. All right, we'll, we'll kind of figure it out here. So we should be sitting on the end of the runway here. We should be good to go. Let's see if we can pull up some communications here. Uh, FI, ATC, Batumi. I already requested startup, so we're... Batumi, let's see what it does. Springfield, 1-1, one, one. <laughs> request startup. Springfield, 1-1, one, one. Batumi, cleared for startup. All right, well, I did that. Let's request taxi. Batumi, Springfield, 1-1, one, one. request taxi to runway. Springfield, 1-1. Batumi, clear to taxi to runway 3-1. Runway 3-1, huh? I hope that's what we're sitting on. Yep, runway 3-1. Cool. The idea here is I kind of want to do a first flight, take off, fly around a little bit, see if I can come back in for a landing. All right, let's go ahead and close the canopy here. Oh, yeah.
Beautiful. Taxi out here on the runway and get her in the air. Spool her up. Release the wheel. We need to take off, although we seem to have done it pretty easily there. At under 200 knots. Uh, so I did gear up. Let's also retract flaps. I don't necessarily, I see the gear lights down there, I don't necessarily know where my flap indicators are. <laughs> but we're airborne! And we're moving, man, this thing... Oh, this thing is so much more responsive than the C-25 is. When I throw all this back, let's see. I think, can you hear the ignition of the afterburners when I fire them all the way up? Here, listen. Throttle up. Do that. <laughs> when the afterburner kicks in. God, it's wild how the roll rate on this is so different from the Su-25. That is wild. Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. I just broke the aircraft. <laughs> Hydraulics failure. I overdrew the shit out of it. I Hydraulics failure. Hydraulics failure. Screen's black. So I'm Hydraulics failure. And my aircraft is falling. <laughs> Total wing off. And I can't inject because I'm unconscious. Rolex. Well, we just learned an important lesson about over-G in the F-15. I did not think I was pulling that hard, but man, that really got cranky. Alright, let's have another one here. <laughs> another one here. Wow. Okay, first flight, unsuccessful. We over G'd the shit out of the aircraft. We tore the wing off. That is wild. Up. 
She's losing airspeed, but she's climbing fast. Jesus, we're at 10,000 feet already. See if we can maneuver the aircraft without breaking it. Light up the afterburners there. Man, that is not much input. there was in this throttle, or in this stick, for rolling. Oh, huh? look at that. So different. <laughs> Going from the Su-25T to like, low altitude, low power attack aircraft to this super high-powered fighter jet. It's wild. Alright, let's do a climb here. Straight up in the 90. Leading airspeed here. So we'll roll her over, bring her back down, get some airspeed back. Where did that take us? 17,000 feet? Whew. That is something. That's our airfield over there. Where are we at on fuel? Oh, we're, we're doing this with fuel tanks and stuff too, aren't we? That could explain some of the lack of performance we have here. Uh, okay, so let's see. If I want to jettison my tanks, left alt and R. So where are my, my fuel tanks are listed over here. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Fuel quantity internal is still maxed out. Left and right, 1,200 pounds. Total 16,000 pounds. So let's start jettisoning stuff and see what we can do. So left alt R. Let's see what, which one that's going to dump. All of them. Did that dump them all? Yep, it says pylon, pylon, pylon now. Without those, I can pull quite a bit harder on the aircraft. Oh, look at that. That makes a huge difference. Because it's not, all that extra weight's not putting strain on there. It was my own, my own contrail. fast when you're pulling way too hard there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just like that, up to 20,000 feet. Alright, let's 
buddy. I'm not brave enough to go under there. That's a small bridge, too. Power lines! Oh, God! That was close. All right, let's go from a thousand feet. like that we went from 1,000 feet to 20,000 feet Wow <laughs> all right I need to go land I need to go land this is too much fun I have no idea if we're gonna be able to stop in time I don't believe this thing has a parachute Touchdown yet? Well, I'm not entirely certain. Maybe we landed the wrong way on the runway, but. We did land, <laughs> and you know, kind of, kind of. That's what matters. Uh, it's not really necessarily a taxi off area. Um, oh, that's probably what the ILS is doing. So probably the correct way to land is coming in the other way. That way you can taxi off because coming down here, I'd have to taxi down the entire run. So you probably it was probably trying to take me over there to taxi. Can I take off from this shorter runway? Do I try and take off and come around again? Wheel brake on. Full throttle. Oh, she's cooking. 150. Dude! extended when I took off? I think I did. I think I took off with my air brake extended. Gear down again. <laughs> I took off with my air brake up. Oh, fucking beautiful. Alright, let's pull her in. Alright, let's open the canopy up. Get us some fresh air. Ah. Shut down the engines. Power off the electronics. Well, okay, minions. We uh, did our first and second flight in the F-15C. 
tore the wing off and crashed <laughs> the first time, uh, but came around and, and just really forced a landing on that second one. Let's go ahead and jump out here. How's, how's the old girl look? She looks, she looks like she's in pretty damn good shape, considering what I did to her. <laughs> That's right, because it's doing the head tracking. Okay, minions. If you enjoyed, enjoyed that. <laughs> if you had, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, expect to see more F15 content, more DCS content in general from me. Um, we are going to need to, with this thing, I got to obviously learn a little bit more about the navigation and about its weapons. And I got to put together some missions for us to do some air to air engagements. Cause that's what this is. It's an air to air fighter. Um, so look forward to finally getting around to blowing up some aircraft in DCS. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next one.